I'm back. I'm back at Minnis Bay. Still hound showing. There's not a lot of weed here at the moment, so I'm gonna sort of make make the most of this. Basically, uh, make hay while the sun shines. Um, the weed gets in here. Well, it's normally in by now, but um, probably with the cold, the colder water temperatures, it just hasn't hasn't grown and come in like it would normally. I would presume. That's what I would presume. Um, but um, anyway. No one here, no one here at all. I know it's daylight, but um, you've got to be in it to win it. Um, so I'm surprised that there's no one on the mark at all. I mean, in two hours time, that, that, that surprise might be uh, confirmed with no fish, but I hope not. I hope that um, I've got a chance of catching something. So I am probably about 100 yards east of where I fished the other evening with Gemma in that video there. Um, it's just a little bit deep here and it's a little bit smoother bottom. So um, just a little bit easier walking out in murky waters. The water's a little bit more cloudy today. And um, just hope we get a fish anyway. So I'm gonna get set up now. Again, it's the same setup as in that video as well. And uh, get these rods out and see if I can catch a fish. The other day, um, I made up these quick pulley dropper rigs with a circle hook, which is great. But in the rush, I made a schoolboy error and I tied these circle hooks on just with a uni knot. Now, I, really, these circle hooks want to have a nice freedom of mu movement um, to allow them to, to swing into the corner of the mouth as you uh, tighten down on the fish. So uh, uni knot isn't great for that, and I should have realized that. So really what you want to do is tie them on with a perfection loop. And that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm basically making a loop in my line there like that. As you can see, there's a loop. I'm then threading that hook on, like so. Leaving him there, going another loop, and just going around the back. That tag then goes between those two lines. You pull the second loop through the first loop, hold that tag, start pulling, and it will tighten down. Now I don't want a big loop on this, so I've just got to pull that round and manipulate it. Like so. So I get a small loop knot on that. There we go. Perfection loop on there. A lot of freedom of movement on that hook. That's a lot better. So there we have the second hook, second circle hook retied with a perfection loop. So basically that's not fixed to the line. That's not that's not only limited to moving where the line can move, that can move anywhere it wants. So as it comes out the corner of a mouth, it swing round and it'll hook, hopefully, into a uh, smooth hound taking my bait. But to do that, I need to get some bait on the hook. So let's do that now. So we're going, uh, we're going for half peeler, prawn, king prawn, raw king prawn, not cooked. Don't go putting cooked king prawns on your hook. You won't get any bites. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bait this up, get this one out first, and then bait the other one up. There like that. Curl that round to the back. Bit of elastic there. Right, I'm gonna put a bit of elastic just below the, the eye of the hook. But I still want the movement. So I'm keeping that, 
keeping that knot free to get the, the, the movement. I'm just elasticing that hook on. Like so. And again, like I said in the other video, you want a lot of this hook showing. You want this whole hook point clear of the bait because that's got to swing round into the corner of the mouth of the fish. This is not like a J hook where you've just got the, you can just have the point protruding out of the bait three, four mil because um, that'll snag anywhere. This won't. So need the whole hook clear. A lot of freedom on that of movement. Let's just hope we get a taker. So let's clip this up. Let's get this one out. And then we can bait up the second one. But I want to get a bait in the water now. Before the rain comes. Don't mind getting wet. Especially don't mind getting wet if I'm catching fish. There's a lot more colour in this water than there was the other day. Looks like I'm going to hit wet. Just thought I'd uh, give you a nice little pointer, a little tip. If you've got waders that have got like neoprene socks, so they haven't got a built-in boot, don't go spending out 60, 70 pound on a pair of wading boots. Go to Primark, buy a pair of their trainers for 12 pound, like so, and then you can screw some studs in the bottom if you want, leave them as they are, these have lasted, these have lasted now, so far, they've had about 10 wading trips. There's not a thing wrong with them. They fit fine, over the top, tight, they're not coming off. And it's only 12 quid. And when they do uh, fall apart, I'm not going to be that bothered, and I can go and get another pair. Right, so we're at low tide now. There's the rods. I haven't had anything yet. And I've just checked the tide app. My tide app, nor tide done a little review on it there it is um, <laughs> and today I didn't really look at it I just wanted to go fishing today and today is not a very good uh, um, day for fish activity according to like the moon phase and things so um, it's probably one of the worst days of the month for fish activity and I'm fishing in the day so um, I wasn't coming here expecting I was coming here hopeful now that hope has been dashed a little bit so i'm just just clinging on to the thought that uh, one fish could change the se session let's hope it comes in now just as the tide starts to flood Well, I've just had a couple of dips on the uh, the one on the right here. Bite, an actual bite, something inquiring. 
but it's gone again now as this tide floods in very quickly. It's obviously coming in a lot quicker than it went out for the first part. Let's hope this comes back. Come on. Right, just turn the camera off and the big one just started nodding. What's going on? Come on fish. So the rods are out for the last time, I think. It's flooding in quite quick. I may have missed that in front of me, but I'm not gonna miss that that's coming from the side of me. So, I don't know what to do. That is absolutely tipping it down. Let's just hope I get a fish to make it worthwhile. Please. Please. Well, the wind is howling through here now and I am going to call it a day. Nothing this morning, missed bite possibly. Something small, maybe a doggy was having a go, I don't know. But that is coming in now and it's coming towards me quick. So I am going to be out of here. So let's pack up. Yeah, I left it too long. Look at this. I am caught in a massive hailstorm. I just hope this doesn't turn thunderous. I'm getting the rods in. Oh, it's quite painful. This is quite big hail.